Yeah, which I think is glue or maybe silicon. Not about that. Welcome back to the channel and to another video. So we're working on the Fiat Barchetta again today. Let me show you exactly what we're going to be doing. Well, that we'll leave to another day. But today we're going to be doing the convertible roof. As you can see, the colour's faded, it's dirty. We've got a hole there where the mechanism inside pinched the, pinched the convertible roof and made a hole. We've also got a hole there in the plastic window which needs sorting out. You can see someone's tried to repair it before. We've got some sort of glue or silicon around it, but there's an actual hole there that we need to sort out. And there's a little split around the other side as well. Not quite as bad, but just there, where again, the mechanism inside's pinched it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll give it a bit of a clean up first, get rid of some of the loose dust, and then we'll probably take it inside out of the sun and give it a proper clean with some convertible roof cleaner and then we'll start trying to fix all the little holes and, uh, and splits. Right, let's crack on. I'll just put a bit of tape over the little holes before I make it wet just to try and stop any water going inside. Give it a quick wash just to get any loose dirt and dust off, and then we can start the big jobs. Right, we'll let that dry off, then we'll get it in the garage and then we'll start trying to restore the colour, get the little repairs done and hopefully getting it looking as good as new. So we'll start off with this, I'll spray that on and then work it in with the brush. That's like a, not, not too soft, like a medium brush I'd say and then we'll work that in and lift up any more loose dirt and then rinse it off again. And then I've got this which will seal it and hopefully bring back the colour. And hopefully it'll look like the one in the picture, nice and black, um, looking restored. But then we've got the, the little holes to deal with. So I've got this, which is what I used for the leather seat repair. If you remember that on the driver's seat, there's a little split and a little hole. So I've got that, which also does vinyl. So I'm going to put a little patch underneath, and that's what the glue's for. And then try the, there's like paste, like a little sort of paste you sort of smooth over the hole and then I can recolour it as well, make it black, and then hopefully um, that'll do the job. I'm not sure how it's going to look, how it's going to work out, but we'll give it a go anyway. And then I've also got another little product for the, uh, the plastic glass. Right, let's start off with the brush and we'll see how it goes. I might use the cloth though, we'll see. I'm just going to go over that bit again, it still looks a bit not very clean. So I'll probably need to go over it a few times I think just to get it as clean as I can before I put the other thing on to sort of seal it and, and uh, restore the colour. Still dirty. Let's do a bit on the side down here.
I did get some comments um, before when I sort of teased I was going to be doing this, cleaning this up. I had a few comments saying, "Why don't you just buy a new, a new top?" Which obviously, you know, that would be the, the easiest thing to do. But um, I can't replace everything new. I've got to try and repair when I can, where I can, because there's just no budget to buy everything sort of new and replace it. Obviously, in the future, it's going to need a new top, perhaps. But at the moment, I think I can sort of get it looking pretty good by sort of doing this and repairing the little holes. Um, it doesn't get taken out in the rain anyway. I mean, it's sort of always in the garage if it's raining. Um, the hood's only there to sort of uh, uh, when it's sort of parked up, uh, and I want to sort of keep it secure. Um, so there's not really any point sort of buying a new hood just yet, a new convertible top just yet. So. We'll give it a clean up and a restore and it should look, you know, nearly as good as new. Definitely think it's worth using a brush, not just a cloth, just to get in deep inside sort of all the little areas. Just to make sure you're getting it clean. I don't know if you get as good a result with just soap and water, I don't know, but this seems to be doing the job. Right, it's definitely come up a lot cleaner. Let me show you um, how it looks. So if you take a look, it's come out pretty good. There's a few little patches, but I'm gonna give it a little rinse off, I think, outside, and we'll see, see how it looks after, but it's a lot better than it was. So the Meguiar's convertible top cleaner looks, looks like it's done the trick. All right, just meant to give it a final rinse off. Before I do, I just wanna show you a quick look at my neighbor's car. Which is pretty cool. Let's have a look over here. It's got it parked out in the sun and it looks pretty cool. There we go. What about that? That looks pretty amazing, do you think? Morgan. Can't see inside because he's got the cover over it, but very nice indeed. Right, that's enough of that, back to mine. Right, I think we'll start with this one first because it looks like the, the easier one of the two, but I just noticed there's another little split there, which I only noticed when I was cleaning it, so I have to try and do something with that as well. But anyway, let's have a look from inside. So there's already a repair patch there. But that's obviously just to stop any water coming in. So I'm going to pull that off. I might even use that if I can. But let's see if it comes off in one piece. That's just a bit of thin, thin black material. That's the just the strap for the convertible mechanism. Um, I 
think that's part of the mechanism. It's riveted into the bar, but I think it's supposed to go over the over there where it's pinched before. Maybe it's not worked, I don't know. Right, let's see what we can do with this. Alright, I'm just gonna clean up as best as I can around here. I've got some degreaser cleaner. I'm gonna use some cleaning alcohol as well. I'll try and get rid of that old glue so I can get a good surface to, to stick on to. So I've got rid of that glue. Um, I've roughed it up a bit as well with a bit of sandpaper. But I just need to let it dry out now. And then we can start patching it up. So there's a template there that I used to cut out a piece of material for the damaged area. Let me just show you how it, how it covers the, the hole. So if you look there, I'll cut a bit of material about as big as that. And I'll put it over. It's bigger than the hole because as you can see there's a sort of worn out area there which I'm better off covering now just in case it sort of wears too thin in the future and creates a new hole. So I'll cut a bit of material, put it on there and glue it on and then I'll use the, the vinyl filler from the other side. So this is just a bit of black material that I had left over from the leather and vinyl repair kit. It's just a bit of black, black vinyl so I'll use that for our our patch. I've got two part glue here, so I'll just put equal amounts of each one, then we'll mix it up. And then we'll spread it on the back of the patch. And that should hopefully be strong enough to keep it in place. Ideally, I'd have liked to have used um, glue like when I did the, the convertible. Well, no, the um, ideally, I would have liked to have used glue that I used when I repaired the, the headliner. But I completely ran out of that, so we'll try this. Let's see how we get on. Put too much of one in there. Let's try to that. Oh, that on our patch, and then I'll put it in the car. I'm going to spread this on the patch before it dries out. I've not got anywhere to hold the, put the camera so I'm going to try and do it with one hand. Bear with me. Right, let's leave that to dry. Next up is the filler, so we'll pop a little bit of that on, I just need a tiny little bit and then we can put some colour on it to, to make it black and match the rest of the top. Right, while that's drying out there, I'll patch the other one from underneath and we'll do the same with that one. Right, we'll let both of those dry, then we'll add a bit of colour and see how it looks. Right, let's leave that to dry, then we'll move on to the other side. This side's definitely going to be a challenge. Right, this side's a lot worse than the, the other side. I've got a, another template there. I'm going to patch it there. Obviously, it's okay patching it now and covering it up, but I'm not going to know 
how it's gonna sort of turn out until it's sort of glued in place and we actually we crack the hood fold it up put it away and get it out again and see if the repair sort of survives being folded but let's give it a go and see how it works out So I'm just going to do the same thing again, I'm going to put my glue, quite a lot this time, it's got quite a big area to cover, mix the two parts together, a bit, a bit more I think. And then just cover the, cover the patch with the glue and stick it on and then I'll start working on it from the other side. It's a little bit awkward one-handed, but I'll do my best. All right, just need to press it down from the other side as well. Alright, I'm going to start filling this. Like, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It's not a complete mess at the end, but we'll give it a go. Right, the roof repair is done. It's all dried. I just need to add a bit of colour. I'll just show you it close up. There we go, so I just need to put a bit of colour on that. Um, it's sort of hard and dried out. Right, we're almost finished. So when this is done, I can put the sealer on the, on the top. It should make it all the same colour. The same colour black, no patches, but I used to a couple of coats of this. But this dries out pretty good, it dries out sort of you can't sort of see where where the join is if you like. Right, I'm glad that's finally done. I'll let that dry and now we'll do the window, which as you know is a little bit of a, a challenge as well. So if you have a look, you can see all this white stuff around it, which I think is glue or maybe silicon. So I'm going to use acetone um, or nail varnish remover to try and just get rid of that um, and clean it up a bit. It's scratched as well, but there's not a lot I can do about that but we can hopefully get rid of this. I'll try a little bit first just to make sure I don't damage the, the, the plastic and put any holes in it, because obviously it could sort of melt the plastic window. So we'll do a little bit at a time and we'll try and get this off. I'm just gonna rub this lightly over the, the white. I think it's blue maybe. It's silicon. It's got a tiny amount of Well, it seems to have got some of it off, but the other layer, not all of it's coming off. Right, the only thing that's coming close to getting it off is, is the acetone. I've tried a bit of petrol, a bit of brake cleaner, a bit of degreaser. Nothing's getting it off. I'm just going to keep persisting with the acetone. And hopefully that will get the worst of it off. Well, I've got the worst of the, the glue and the sort of silicon, whatever it is, on there off. Um, let me show you. So there we go, most of the white stuff's off. So what I need to do now is clean this up as best I can. It's a bit sort of dull and a bit misty, so we'll do what we can with that. And also I've got a little, what I think is a really good product for fixing the split there, uh, which will keep the split clear when it's repaired. I've got a couple of little splits on the side there as well. So I'm going to try and do my best to clean that up. I haven't got, um, what do you call it, um, a polisher. 
So I just have to use do it by hand um, and get it as good as I can. All right, let's crack on. It's had a good polish, it's definitely better than it was before. I've got that line going across there, which is sort of fading the more I polish it, but I'm gonna need a sort of proper polishing uh, machine to, to get it sort of perfect. But, I mean, that's by hand, so I'm quite pleased with that. And when I get a polisher, then I'll go over it again, sort of inside and out. But you can definitely sort of see through it now, whereas you couldn't before. Right, next up, we're gonna repair the little split. I've got some special stuff to repair. Uh, vinyl glass, so we'll do that now. And there's our split there, which you can see. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of masking tape behind it. Just going to squeeze a little bit into the, the gap. Right, we'll just leave that to dry, and I've got a couple more I need to do here as well. A couple of little splits, not as bad. But I'll do them now so they don't get any worse. So I'll put another bit of masking tape on the back, and the same again, I'll put the liquid vinyl on the split. Right, we'll leave both of those to dry, then I can get on with sealing the top. And then we'll take it outside and see how it all looks. So in case you're wondering about the flexibility of the roof when it gets folded back, you can see the repair there. It's very flexible. It's not sort of dried hard or anything. There is elasticity in it. So you can fold the roof back without it damaging whatever you fixed. Right, well here's what's next. This is the, uh, the Vinyl Ultra Proofer which protects and conditions against stains and oxidation. It says you can use a brush to put it on, but I think I'll use a sponge just in case it leaves a, a brush mark. I don't know if it will or not, but just in case. Um, right, let's try this and uh, see how it turns out. So it says not to shape the bottle, so I won't do that. I'll just tip a bit in here. And then we'll just put it on with the sponge. And let's see, I think it's going to restore the colour a bit. It says it'll give it a fresh appearance, it's not like a colour restore to make it sort of black or anything. But anyway, we'll try it, see how it works out. Right, I don't want to bore you showing the whole roof being sort of wiped down with this, so skip to the end and we'll see how it looks. Alright, let's take the tape off and see how it looks. It's definitely sealed the hole up, which is good, and you can hardly notice the split. Let's take the tape off here. All right, the hole is sealed. Obviously it's still a little bit scratched around there, but it's not like I can do about that. But it's definitely waterproof now anyway. Yeah, well pleased with that. Right, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. I've put a link in the description below for all the products I've used. And I think you agree it turned out pretty amazing. Um, split repaired on the plastic glass, the hole in the roof, uh, the 
big hole when the, the little one is well on the other side. Um, came out really good and the colour as well now looks fantastic. Um, right, that's a wrap. I'll see you next time.